What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a PC for my brother. These are all the parts we have here. It's going to be a high-end gaming PC. The best thing he does on his computer is he does a lot of sim racing. He has a wheel and everything. So all these parts are going to be a really good choice for that. And at the end of the video, we'll be doing some benchmarks to show you how the video performs. And all the links of the parts will be in the description down below. So now let's get straight into the video. For the brain of the computer, we picked the Ryzen 5 9600X. You may be wondering why we didn't go with the Ryzen 7. The 5 is only about 5% slower than the 7 in gaming, and it's about $100 cheaper. So we try to save some money on the CPU, and all he's going to be doing with the computer is gaming. So we don't need to get all the extra cores for workstation, workloads that, like that. So that's why we picked the Ryzen 5 9600X. Alright, for the RAM, we went with a 32GB kit of Corsair Venus RGB clocked at 6,000 megahertz. We chose this because it was one of the cheaper kits we found and he wanted a Corsair theme build. So that's why we chose this RAM. All right, so for the motherboard, we chose the MSI B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. We picked this one because my other brother and he is both have MSI motherboards and treated them well. So, and we also need a good affordable motherboard for his PC. And another reason we picked this one is it has a Wi-Fi chip in it. All right, for the SSD, we went with the Samsung 990 EVO Plus. We chose this one because Best Buy did not have the original NVMe we were looking for, but for only about $10 more and a 2000 megabyte per second increase in speed, we're happy with that choice. This is a one terabyte drive and his read and write speeds are 7,250 megabytes per second. All right, for this cooling system in the PC, we went with the Corsair Nautilus 240RS ARGB. We chose this because an I.O. looks cool on top of your PC and it fits this Corsair theme build and this will be probably a little bit overkill for his, com for his processor, but it's all right. All right, so for the power supply, we went with the Corsair RM750E. This is a fully modular ATX power supply. It is, has an 80 plus gold rating. Mod modular power supplies, I built one with one in my computer and they're good. So that's why we chose this and Corsair is a reputable brand. All right, so for the case, you want the Corsair 3500X. It's a full tower ATX case. It has a temper glass front panel, side panel, and three fans right in the back here. Um, the cable management space is pretty good in here. I'll show you that right now. For the graphics card, we went with the XFX Merc 319 7800XT. So as you can see, this is a pretty beefy card, three fans. We have, uh, looks like, three DisplayPort and one HDMI. And the power connectors are two eight pins and it has a nice silver backplate. This is gonna be able to run anything he throws at it. So you guys may be wondering why I have a blue strap on my arm. So what this does, this is grounded to a ground pin on an outlet. This is to make sure that no static electricity could cause any damage to your parts. If you're building a PC, I do recommend getting a static mat. This is what this brown thing is on the ground. And one of these, this will prevent you from messing up some of your parts from static electricity. Just want to put that out there so you guys know what this is. All right, first we're going to start with the platform here. I have the motherboard. This is a nice anti-static case. Let's see if I can actually open this. Here's the motherboard, and that's where we're going to put everything on. Pretty nice. Alright, so first we're going to put the CPU in it. I need a knife. Alright. So we'll pull it out. Got the CPU itself here. I might just drop all of the things. And so here's the CPU. It comes with a nice AMD Ryzen 5 sticker. And that's the new Zen 4 architecture with the pins on the back. All right, so let's start with the retention arm. Remove this plate. Got the CPU. Make sure you line up you line up those triangles going to put it down 
Is yours nice in place? Put that down here. Go, go, go. Just run down. Boom. CPU is in the motherboard. All right, we're going to open the second and fourth DIMM slots on the motherboard so you have dual channel memory. Put that slim in. Push down till it clicks. There we go. Onto the fourth, this second DIMM. Click. There we go. All right, the dim the memory's in. So now let's move on to the SSD. All right. Open it right here. If I can. Here is the 990 EVO Plus, one terabyte with 7,250 read and write speed. All right, so we definitely didn't forget the screwdrivers. Just so unscrew this top M.2 slot. Take that out. And this board has one of those no screw lock mechanisms right here. I'm gonna put that SSD in, slot it in, push it down, that over it, and there, SSD is installed. All you gotta do is just put this back over where it's supposed to be. That's the platform. So next, we're gonna be put on the CPU cooler. All right, so first, we just gotta unscrew the old AMD clips. These are here for some CPU coolers that support them. The only one I know of is the um, just the AMD Wraith Prism. Just gonna unscrew these, and then we can put on the standoff screws for the AIO. All right, we're gonna install the standoffs here. Gonna do it up and down, screw until it's tight. All right, so you can see our cooler has pre-applied thermal paste. This has a pre-installed Intel bracket on it, so to change to our AMD bracket, we gonna do is just push comes right off down and then we'll put on our AMD brackets snap all right so next gonna line this up perfectly right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna be really safe we're gonna be be careful gonna put this down over these standoff screws going to get our thumb nuts screw them on next we're gonna grab a screwdriver to make these very tight so this is the cooler you want the mounting pressure to be pretty tight so you can just finger tight the screws just so they're on there and then go in a star pattern each time you saw the cooler so just go in corner to corner there we picked. All right, so we're gonna put the platform in the case, nice and gentle. And there we go. All right, so we're just gonna pop this in right here. Then we're getting to screw in the top. All right, we're just gonna start with these screws right here. It's the right screwdriver. And it's, there's gonna be less cables overall. I mean, we should just, we should just, 
All right, so we just cable managed all of the um, non-vital components, just the fan cables, RGB cables, and the front panel. Good thing about Corsair is right here, I don't know if my light. The front panel cable is actually not all of the small ones that some cases have. It's a full, it is a full, full thing. So it's what was way easier to plug in and Props to Corsair for that. All right, for the GPU, and we're just going to remove these two PCIe slots, and we're going to peel off uh, the tape. All right, there's a graphics card. Look at that, Look at that matte black finish on the top. Very nice. And then, turn that off. Horrible. Yeah, not as rock needs to work on the protective film. It's not go off very nicely. There we go. Like that, that sucked. Pinned it. Yeah, that the protective film was not good. That was not very satisfying. Remove this off. Another one beefy graphics card. All right, so next we're just gonna put these PCIe slots back in. Why do you put them back in? Oh, I mean not. I mean not the PCIe slots back in. We're gonna put the screws into the graphics card. So now what we're gonna have to do next is put the power supply in. It's gonna be a lot of cable managing, so let's cut right straight to that. All right, we're gonna start with just the PCIe cable. Then the CPU cables. So this motherboard has two 8-pin EPS connectors for the cables, so that's nice. And it does have one of those 12-volt power connectors for the GPU, but we do not have an NVIDIA card, so we will not be we do not have to use that today. Another 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 PCIe cable. I think we might just have, we can just use one because this one has two A pins on the end. So we would use that just for our GPU. So we don't have to use this one, this cable is. And then our motherboard cable. I like modular power supplies because instead of having a ton of wires, we only have one, two, three, four, five wires instead of like, who knows, like 10. So cable management will be easier. So I'll see you in one second. Let's we'll just put the power supply in. All right, and I'll see you guys when everything's all cable managed. So we have the cable management done in the front and in the back, and then straight to it where we will post. See if it works. Let's stop it. All right, so we have the monitor connected to the GPU, keyboard and mouse, power supply switched on, and we're gonna see how this when to turn when my brother hits the power button. All right, it turns on, it's a good sign. Just wait a second, you can see RGB. And we're in the BIOS, so that's a good sign. We're gonna post. So after this, we're just going to install Windows, and then we will do some benchmarks. All right, so when we're in the BIOS, just check. Your CPU temperature is at 32 Celsius, so we're good. We have a Ryzen 5 9600X. And one thing we want to check is our XMP profile, or DOCP, whatever your motherboard calls it. That will allow your RAM to run at its rate of speed. Ours is rated for 6,000 megahertz. So just hit that one until it's highlighted. Hit that X and hit save can registration exit and hit yes and then we're good
While the benchmarks are running in the background, I'm not going to talk about all, every single game individually, but overall performance is really good in all games. I tested everything at 1440p, the highest settings, with some ray tracing on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this PC build video. If you guys like this type of content, let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to like the video. And if you like this video a lot, consider subscribing. Until next time. See you guys.